She's not kissy, y'all. Nah. Okay. You guys, Goldness is in the house. Go Hi, y'all. I have a lot of questions for you, my love. Uh -oh. you, are you ready for season 10, if there is one? And are you ready for part two of the reunion? Normally, me and you would have gotten it. I'm so excited for part two of the reunion. I mean, dude, I'm still sort of like having PTSD from watching and going through part one of the reunion. And I know that part two is going to be real deep. We're all, we're all deep. So I'm excited. I'm nervous, but excited. Tony Graham wants me to ask a question because I kind of feel for you. He's in. I was on, you know, I wasn't really supporting. Mike, the way you were supporting Mike, and you were really, you, were, you just had his back time and time again, especially when we were at the Palm Springs birthday stuff. Um, you know, Micah and Bella, um, you had his back, you were trying to have a conversation with him at the barbecue it was not landing for him but you were still having that just being there until the reunion what set you off do you think? what was like because you were so composed the whole time and i would have popped up way sooner so i have to give you <laughs> i give you props thank you love um, I think it's, it's, uh, hold on, let me try to stop this. I can take my hand off of it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Can you see me? I can tell me. Okay. I think it's a super fair question. But the long and the short of it is what you just said. I feel like I just, I spent that whole season having his back and, even you and I being as close as we are and we will have conversations and I'll still support his side over my good friend Reza's side, you know? So I think coming to the reunion and having Nima whisper into Mike's ear about like something bullshit. And then he's like, yeah, cause she's a fucking bitch. When I heard that, I'm like, are you for real? <laughs> like, wow. I'm like, you're sitting right next to me. I, you've seen what I've done for you both in person and you watch the whole season, like the whole world, you've seen what happened. You saw I had your back. So I just got really upset and it, it triggered a part of me that was very familiar. It was a part of me that I've been working on for years to never, you know, wake that bitch up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but let me say this, if we boop and I both know that we watched you these um, I mean, for the voice reason, we're so cool, calm, and cool that by the time we did get the reunion, it was just like poking at something that had been get you had been getting and unappreciated for a really long time. So I have to say that for someone that loves you, watched you give so much support. I, I can't even fault you for letting Lug Ness out for a second. I love you. You know what the thing is, and I think you and I say this all the time to people, to fans, friends, uh, on our IG live, we always tell people this is our real lives. So when those cameras stop, our lives don't just stop with it. Our lives keep going. So our drama that's you know, happening continues. Unfortunately, if I could, I would put gazillions of dollars to pay all these camera people to film every second, you know, yeah. of everything. So that when those gaps end up happening between, you know, what people saw and the reunion, it's a little less confusion. But the truth is we're friends. Oh. And just like all groups of friends, you talk to one person and that person heard you said some shit and it goes around. And that's what happens with us. <laughs> Someone said Nima is... And I am dying and living. And another person, I think it might have been Jess Cap or Jessica Pop. Jessica Pop said, you supported Mike all season, but he was looking for support from me. I have to say, what I have to say is, Nessa is much more lovely and she's much more reasonable, and I'm much more reasonable. And because of my parents' marital dynamic, it was hard for me. 
to be supportive. Where Vanessa was rational, I have to commend you on being able to look beyond to be a good friend. So he might have been able to judgment on what our friend is doing. You were beyond that and still be a good friend. I agree. So now I have to just say this. As far as the fashion game, the acting game, the drama, the season nine, everyone has been saying has been one of the best seasons. And it's funny, I think some people would say that you were the voice of reason in Crazy. season nine, and people would say it was our, one of our best seasons. What, how do you feel about that? I don't think the two are related. I just think it just so happens to be one of our best seasons and it happens to be a year that I'm the voice of reason. But dude, as y'all can see, I didn't all of a sudden switch into something that people, a lot of people were saying, oh, you're fake. You're just gonna, I'm a real person that's working really hard on anger issues. For me, I spent more of my life being, are you, bitch, what? Are we, oh, am GG, wait, open that all the way. No, bitch. Remember, you guys, well, Golnessa knows this, but I was buying BravoCon. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, yeah. BravoCon got canceled, and your boy was buying BravoCon outfits. Now, Golnessa, am I allowed to tell the people? Can I tell the people? Tell the people what? So, today, I did get confirmation from a very, very great Persian comedian that Golnessa, myself, and Destiny are partnering up with to give you guys some live shows where you're going to be able oh. to come and hang out with us and kick it like you're in the Persian crew, like you're in the posse, like you're a shot of sunset. It's a Dore. We're going to have a Dore. Yes. It's and for those who don't know what Dora means, you don't speak Farsi. It's it's like it's it's a it's what is it like a what is it? How do you what's a Dora? It's like a get together. It's like a scheduled, it's like but it's different. That it's like regularly. It's more can, personal. It's very per, like a Dora is personal. You sit together, you have some chai, you kiki. A Dora is like. <laughs> You know, the, the hair salon hangout, you know, the barbershop for the guys, the hair salon for the girls. It's Dora is the Persian version of Kiki in a little. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The thing that you guys don't get to see, which is insane because there was so much yummy drama to capture this season, when Golnessa, Destiny, and I, it's just this whole vibe most of the time we're laughing and having yeah. a ball and that isn't dramatic so they capture it but when you get to come to the shows you get to have this whole experience where it's like kicking it with us uh, without the drama i mean listen i don't know about you but i would definitely want to hang out with me <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to hang out with me. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait till we fine tune it, have the dates to just tell people like, yo, this is where it's at. Yes. Bomb Fantasy. Thank you for the five hearts. Um, Chubby, so I have a question, Reza. I'm Mr. Yes. Host of the IG Live. Yes. I have a question. Are, is the salt and pepper a permanent thing? The salt and pepper is a permanent thing. This is the dye line from my hair right here. And as soon as this grows out, I'm going to be giving you zaddy vibes. If there's a season 10, all you're going to see is salt and pepper and designer fashions. They can make fun of me as much as they want. The ones that come to the reunion looking like they're going to work. Um, but I'm going to be... Or a polo match. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Or a polo mask. But I'm going to be giving you guys some eye candy. I'm going to make yeah. it spicy and fun for y'all. And let me ask you this, uh, host of the IG with the bandana <laughs> on. Uh, 
Live Live San would also like to know if you, Dr. Simone, Dr. Simone is my boo. Is Dr. Simone here? Dr. Simone is in the house? Dr. That's Simone girl. is my girl. Your girl. You guys, Golnessa and I, there's Dr. Simone. Yes, honey, Dr. Simone Whitmore. Dr. M.D., educated, beautiful black woman that is my sister Check. from another mister. Check. Uh, Golnessa, will you and I be coordinating any outfits next season so the people can see... Uh, what we can bring because Golnessa and I do couldn't coordinate the diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> we'll coordinate the, the the genre, the style that we're going for. Reza is all about the designers and you know what? He's got 